Hey, what's up everyone? This video, I wanted to talk about how to pass a custom type as an argument. So if we wanted to create a method that would accept a user object, that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So we have some code from previous videos. Don't feel like you have to have all this if you're just jumping in. The main thing you need is some custom type. In our case, we have this user class defined in this extra file over here, and it has some methods that will get these fields. So you can copy some of that if you want, but the main thing is I wanna go over in our code and create a, a, a method to take a user. So it's gonna go outside of this main method, We'll say public void, and you can give it a name for whatever you want. We'll just call it print user. And now for the actual parameter here, we want it to be of type user and give it a name. Now inside of here, we can reference this user object. So we can say u.get full name, and we can output this or do whatever we want with it. Now, because this method here is defined within this class my sweet program we actually have to make an instance of it that's because it's not static like this one up here now we're gonna be talking about that in the next video so you'll definitely want to check out how to turn this into a, a static method of the user class once we understand the static methods it's basically a way to organize our code a little bit differently than just putting everything in this my sweet program file but for now, we're just gonna keep it here so we can show how to instantiate this class and invoke this method. So all we really have to do is say, my sweet program, give it a name such as M, and say new my sweet program, like that. And then we just say M dot print user, and then we can just pass in some user. So if we created some user earlier, we could pass it in. So we have this list of users. We can just take one of those users. We'll just say users.get and pass in index zero. Execute. And you can see we get Caleb Curry at the top and then we get Caleb Curry at the bottom, which actually came from this line of code right here. So that is how you create a method to take a custom type. Now we're going to get into static methods and learn how to take this method and put it as part of the user class. So go check out the next video because we're going to get into the concepts for that. And I'll see you then. 